holy crap, the water is really cold. I'm sitting in it and I have goosebumps. So you know what that means? It's like we're chasing the sun. We are headed south. We are headed south. I'm pretty sure hurricane season is over. Oh. Or at least wrapping up. We're gonna start headed back south towards La Paz area. We're gonna take our sweet time getting there though. We actually left yesterday and we're actually pretty proud of ourselves. We sailed out of our anchorage in 33 knot gusts without a working engine. We sailed off our anchor, which was, we didn't, weren't quite sure. We actually weren't sure we were gonna be able to do it that much wind. We've never done it in 33 knot gusts. That was a lot, but it worked out really well. We came off anchor just fine. We sailed away. We made it over here to Pescador. We had a beautiful, beautiful oh. sail. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's nippy out. Holy cow, I cannot believe the change. I mean, it's literally just a couple miles and it is so much colder yeah, over it's here. it's cold over here. Uh, we did leave a little later than we thought because then we were hoping because we had to rescue a fellow cruiser. He got dinghy and halfway out and his engine died and he was drifting off to sea. <laughs> and so we, we radled him, we towed him back. We're actually buddy boating with him a little bit right now. Um, we won't name names though. But you know who you are. We are done with the Bay of LA area. We are headed back down. Yeah, it's been a great summer. The heat wasn't terrible. It's crazy to think that summer's over. We're, we're out here like on a perpetual vacation type thing, our life, but still has seasons and we need to move on. It's time to, I mean, it was 74 degrees this morning. That's cold. I had a blanket. Jessica had a blanket, like an actual blanket, blanket on. It's crazy how you become acclimated to your world. Because <laughs> 74 is not cold. It's too cold. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Get you wet. Oh, hey, stop it. <laughs> you may not know it, but I just screwed up. I'm going to pay for that later. Guaranteed. That's coming back to haunt me. Sam to get his shoes on. Then we're gonna go explore this beach. We were looking forward to the soft white sand and spectacular views of Pescador, but curious as to what Hurricane Kay had done. Her destructive path was evident by the broken windows and furniture strewn about. Sand piled high up against the buildings and even inside some of them. The power of the wind evident by covering most of the paths with deep sand, the wind erasing what was once a dream. The once beautiful buildings of the resort now lay in ruins. Many of the palapas are down, lying in large piles of rubble. Mother Nature has a way of taking back what was once hers. We spent the rest of the evening by soft light enjoying for the last time this beautiful place. Left exposed to the elements, it is hard to imagine it will hold back the destructive forces of nature much longer. We are headed to Isla Partida today. I think it's about 19 miles. Um, gonna be a little broad reach I'm thinking I can see the island from here and based on the wind I think we're gonna be reaching it's a little bit lumpy out from what we just heard on the radio um, might be a little sporty out there but 
There's no wind tomorrow or the next day, so today is our window to go. Let's go. It's a race. It is a race. Our buddy boat over there on Jackdaw has offered to race us, which we're not racers. We don't know how well we sail. <laughs> we do know we're pretty slow downwind. Um, we carry a Yankee sail for our head sail. And there are many, many days we wish we had a Genoa, but we left that home. We will probably pick that up before we cross the South Pacific. We don't know our handicap. Well, we know our handicap. We looked it up this morning. We don't know theirs though. So I think we're supposed to be a little faster than them, but it's going to take some skill. So let's see what happens. Pretty certain they're better sailors. Pretty certain they're going to beat us, especially downwind. But I don't know, let's do this. So we're going to raise the main and tack up to her anchor and get out of here. And we are off. We are out of here. We got just a tiny, holy cow, that boat, that sailboat right there just came in between a reef. Yeah, it did. They are much braver than us or they have been in here before. Local knowledge is very important in these areas when the charts aren't that accurate. Anyways, Jack Daw is behind us. We're gonna try to keep as much speed as we can on this girl and see if we can get ahead of them. Oh, it's a wonderful sail. Averaging in the five knot range. We've got all three sails up. I don't know what the slow pokes are doing back there. They finally got their sail up. They're, looks like they got their main up. Slow poke or not, they're chasing us. For right now. <laughs> so we came up with a strategy since we sail better upwind a little bit or on a beam reach. We're pointing a little bit higher than needed. We got all three sails going, the main, the staysail, and the jib. Hoping to get some, some, just get some speed and get out there, and then we'll make a little bit of a right-hand turn to starboard and hopefully go downwind just a little bit. And this is a much more comfortable point of sail for us than, than straight downwind. We don't seem to wall around as much. It's still quite rolly though. I don't know what he says about comfort. Look at these telltales. I think I could trim this, get a little bit more speed out of her. We're gonna try. And even if we lose, at least we look pretty. Love the look of a cutter rig. Right now, the race is neck and neck. They are just ahead of us and they were pulling away, but we finally got our act together. We dropped our staysail, turned a little more downwind, um, put a preventer on our boom, hand steering now, because we're doing a little bit better than the autopilot because we can react a little bit quicker. And I think we are making up ground. It's going to be close. Well, we did not win. They got here first. It was a bugger tacking into here. We tacked like four or five times just to get to our spot around the corner. But whoa, what a rowdy sail. Going fishing! What'd we catch? Bonito. Is it a bonito? up in the line. That was a Benito. <coughs> Tuna, we're not real fond of Benito, so we let him go. He got hooked on the painter line, the hooks, like it was kind of a cluster. Got me all wet, but hopefully we can catch something else. Head. Oh, sheep's head. Yeah? Look at those teeth. 
Well, the fishing and the trolling was a good success. We caught a hog fish. No, a hog head. What do you call it? We caught a hog head. We're going to flay him up, make some dinner tonight with our buddy boat over there. Overall, it's been a good morning so far. We have finally found clear water in the Sea of Cortez. At least 20 feet visibility to the bottom. We can see our anchor chain. It's a little too choppy. We couldn't quite see our anchor, but we'll, we should be able to as soon as we get a mask on. Super excited. Beautiful. Just got back from snorkeling. It was pretty solid. Some of the best visibility we've had in the sea so far. Um, seen a bunch of fish, a bunch of groupers, angelfish, starfish, all kinds of stuff over there. Yeah, it was great. Um, like you said, I don't, I don't think we've had that much clarity anywhere. So it's kind of nice to be able to see that. What, maybe 30 feet? Yeah. 30 feet. And we, it was a clear 30 feet. Yeah, we just snorkeled over our anchor to see where it's at and how it's sitting because we're kind of in some cobblestone mix with sand and we could see we're in 34 feet of water and we could see the anchor when we snorkeled so we snorkeled over that and it's just laying there on its side <laughs> it's not set it's not doing anything <laughs> but it's very calm right now and is going to be so we should be all right yeah i would hope so we'll go down there and set it <laughs> like i said it isn't doing anything right now but laying on its side lazy worker lazy anchor not doing a darn job at all. Works with us lazy sealers. <laughs> Jeez. Anyways. Right. Well, we better go do something about that. We've had a great time here in Isla Partida. A few problems, bobos. <laughs> Little fly, uh, bobos are pretty much gnats. Um, they're everywhere right now. They are just invading our space. Um, so we're gonna try to sail out of here. There's a little bit of wind. There is not much. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to keep my hats off my face. We're going to continue our trip south towards um, Santa Rosalia. We're going to try to make 30 miles today in pretty light air. Very light winds. But here in about an hour, the, um, the tide starts falling, which should give us a push south. There's a pretty good current that shows up in this channel that we're going to head to. So we should get a couple knot push south, which will be really good. Um, we will not make it by daytime. We will be anchoring in the dark, which is fine. We've been in this anchorage before pretty easy to do as soon as we get moving we won't have to swat at the flies yeah hopefully they don't bite they just crawl on you really slowly in yeah your they... nose, in your eyeballs <laughs> in your ears the glamorous side of cruising <gasps> is bugs drive me crazy they're everywhere but we haven't had any mosquitoes we don't have any biting bugs so you can only take the bobos for so long and then you gotta go Oops. You gotta earn the play. <laughs> I gotta earn the play. <laughs> That's right. All right, we are gonna try to get out of here. Oh, I got one. Woo! Ew. I got another one. Oh, I can't. I can't take it anymore. We gotta go.